Good morning guys. It is morning and it is Tuesday the 14th of April and that means it's my birthday! Yay! I actually got some birthday presents already. Um, Christopher parents sent us a couple of baggies with packages because he's, his birthday is the 23rd and in April so we're celebrating our birthdays this month. So they also sent a couple of presents to me. I got this bag full of bath bombs. Awesome. And a little book to write things in, which also was awesome. So great, great birthday so far. Um, I am going to head out to my new gynecologist and we'll see what she has to say today. And then I'm heading off to work, so good morning guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Hi guys, I am home from work, um, I'm from the giant gyno, I'm really excited about my new gynecologist because um, I kind of suspected that there is something more behind my POF just because I have all these allergies that I didn't have before I was diagnosed with POF and and stuff like that um, so I've always had that in the back of my mind and even though I didn't take talk about all the allergies and stuff it's actually she wants me to be retested and she's going to take a lot of more tests than my ordinary doctor does so or my previous doctor she's my new doctor uh, so but I have to go off my Hormones for two months, so I have to live with the hot flashes for two months and that is what I'm going to do because I'm very... the the hormones are affecting my SLE in a very negative way and if I can go off this for two months, I can get these tests done and we can find the reason behind, if the reason is, is something else than just my ovaries um, shutting down, then there will be another set of treatment because if there is something else, I might be able to treat that instead and the ovaries will kind of relive again and, and work again. So that is going to be awesome, but it's going to be probably be pretty heavy two months here. But at the same time, hopefully the SLE won't be that bad either, so yeah, looking forward to it. And on my way home, I stepped into my local craft shop. Yeah, basically I've been kind of putting things into a shopping bag at Simon's Stamp uh, and putting things and putting things and putting things and I think I have over $300 of things in my shopping basket at the moment. But I can't really get myself to kind of push that button because it's a lot of money. And if I don't shop over $350, I have to pay pretty steep postage. Um, it's not like stepping up to $50 of postage. So I'm um, not really want to do that investment right now. So instead I went to my local craft shop, uh, the prices are more expensive but I bought like a fraction of what I was thinking about buying from Simon's Stamp. So I got some more sprays, I got Frisket which is basically a, a way of masking, a masking fluid. So I got some of that, got the stencil and I got a dye. I'm gonna have some fun and I'm gonna show it's gonna show you all of these things but they are lying over there somewhere and um, I am going to work on my computer for a little while so yeah well guys I thought that I would show you my things before I start with anything else because if I don't start do that I'm probably gonna forget it like I did with the pens so here I go <laughs> This is the kind of little mini haul for me. I'm actually going to do a proper haul for them. But I thought I'd show you in this video. And then there will be a craft haul later on the craft channel. Uh, which will probably take a couple of weeks. But yeah. This is the Tim Holtz tag dye. 
I don't know what the numbers of them, if this is a 10, an 8 and something, or if these aren't the same sizes as those you can buy. But you get this little thing. This was one of the reasons I also really like it, because you have this to strengthen the holes. And then you have all of these like labels and small tags and stuff. Really, really like that. And then I got this, which is another stencil. Um, this is my third Tim Holtz stencil. This is because you need a dot layering one that is a little bit of different dots. And then um, I've started to play around with these different sprays. I have a, a green one, or a mint green, so it's somewhere between a blue and a green. I got a yellow, almost mustardy color, or orange yellow color. And I got a purple. So now I have seven sprays. I thought I would try these dilutions, I don't have them. And then I have this, which is Frisket or masking fluid for paper, which um, will help me to kind of mask out images and do fun things. So yeah, that's all the things I got. Well guys, it is time for bed. I actually had a pretty good evening. We had a friend coming over having some ice cream. I have made a video uh, yesterday when I was coloring. I was coloring a newly released mermaid that just came out. And I finished the car today. It's a little bit over embellished. I'm not used to this. I am a very clean and simple kind of designer and this just, it's pearls and crystals and things um, all over the place. But it was really, really fun making it. And that I can say, it was awesomely fun to make it. So I have um, used my tag dies once at least and I had so much fun. I'm wondering if I'm gonna continue making tags for the rest of the week, but just because it's fun to make tags. But we'll see. Uh, I don't know what video I'm going to do on Friday either yet. So we'll see that too. But this was really, really fun. I'm hoping to be able to make some cards tomorrow also. I do a lot of fun cards tomorrow. Yeah. I'm just I'm really in a very good mood. In a happy place. And yeah, I want to show you. Look here. I'm going to... Ooh. I'm going to pick it out look what we found my base this is my electrical base it is a squire jazz bass for you who don't know i have played electrical bass in a band wait a minute wait a minute wow. so i played electrical bass in a band in a rock band we never had any we didn't do any shows we just basically practiced we probably were supposed to do shows, but it never had happened. Um, but I had a lot of fun then, and I really want to start playing again. Now, I don't know if electric, electric bass is much easier than guitar, so it's one thing that I can do, but um, I don't have the equipment for it. I just have the bass, and you have to like pu push it into things, and I don't have that right now. So, yeah. But yeah, nice day, nice day, so good evening guys, good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, <laughs> bye.